How do you tell if gold is real, gold-plated, or fake? By most international standards, anything with less than 41.7% or 10 carats of gold is considered fake. To test your jewelry or gold at home, you can perform a few easy tests mostly with items you already have like water, vinegar, and magnets. Drop the gold into a jug of water to see if it sinks. Real gold is a dense metal, so it falls directly to the bottom of the jug. Imitation gold is much lighter and floats. Real gold also doesn't rust or tarnish when wet. Put a few drops of vinegar on the gold. Set your jewelry or gold piece onto a flat surface. Use an eyedropper to apply a bit of vinegar and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Real gold won't change color, but fake gold will. Find any noticeable discolorations where the gold has worn away. Gold is pretty soft for a metal, so plated gold often rubs away over time. Note any discolorations on your skin from wearing or holding the gold. Pure gold doesn't react with sweat or oil from your skin, so if you see black or green marks, they are from other metals. Hold a strong magnet up to see if the gold sticks to it. For this test, you need a strong magnet capable of pulling even metal blends. Move the magnet over the gold and observe how it reacts. Gold isn't magnetic, so don't be fooled by anything that sticks. If the magnet pulls the gold toward it, your item is either impure or a fake. Rub the gold on unglazed ceramic to see if it leaves a streak. Make sure you're using an unglazed piece of ceramic since anything with a glaze could affect the test results. Drag your item across the plate until you see some fragments coming off the gold. If you see a black streak, that means your gold is not real. A gold streak usually indicates authentic gold. Look for an official number marking on the gold. The marking, or hallmark, tells you the percentage of gold in an item. The hallmark is often printed on jewelry clasps or the inner bands of rings. It is usually visible on the surface of coins and bullion. The stamp is a number from 1 to 999 or 0K to 24K depending on what kind of grading system was used. Use the number marking to determine how much gold is in your piece. Most coins and jewelry are not pure gold, so they have other metals mixed in. There are two different scales used to indicate this through the hallmark. The number rating system used in Europe runs from 1 to 999 with 999 meaning pure gold. The U.S. uses a scale from 0 to 24K, where 24K is pure gold. Check for a letter marking indicating that the gold isn't pure. Some of the common letters you may see are GP, GF, and GEP. These letters indicate that your gold piece is plated, which means the maker put a thin layer of gold over another metal, such as copper or silver. Your item has some gold in it, but it isn't considered real gold. GP stands for gold plated, GF means gold filled, and GEP means gold electroplate. Weigh your piece of gold on a scale. If you have a decent kitchen scale, place the gold on it. Otherwise, jewelers and appraisers often can do it for you for free. Make sure you get the weight in grams rather than ounces. Fill a graduated cylinder halfway full with water. Choose a cylinder that is big enough to hold the gold. It needs to have measurement markings in milliliters ML, or cubic centimeters CC. Read the starting water level in the cylinder. Look at the markings on the cylinder, then record the water level. This measurement is very important for the test, so write it down. Drop the gold into the vial and record the new water level. Gently lower the gold into the cylinder to avoid losing any of the water. Write the second measurement down on a piece of paper. Subtract the measurements to find the difference in the water level. This gives you an answer in milliliters or cubic centimeters, depending on what measurement your vial lists. For example, if you started with 17 milliliters of water that rose to 18 milliliters, that leaves a 1 milliliter difference. Divide the gold's weight by the difference in the water level. The density of the gold equals its mass divided by its volume. After calculating the density, compare the result to the standard density of gold, which is 19.3 grams per milliliter. If your number is way off, chances are you have a fake. Keep in mind, though, that some combinations of metals in fake gold can have a density similar to real gold. Purchase a gold testing kit to get the acid you need for the test. Testing kits include various bottles of nitric acid for different types of gold. 
Create a small scratch on the gold using a sharp tool. Add a drop of nitric acid to the scratch. If it turns green, you know right away your gold is fake. Regular gold does not react to the acid, so your item might be gold-plated or a low-purity blend of metals. A milk-colored reaction usually indicates gold-plated sterling silver. Scratch the gold on a touchstone to test its purity. If you think you might have real gold, rub it along the touchstone to create a streak of gold flakes. Add a drop of 12K, 14 Kelvins, 18 Kelvins, and 22 Kelvins nitric acid to different parts of the streak. Check back after 20 to 40 seconds. Find the spot where the acid doesn't dissolve the gold to figure out what carat rating your item is. If the 18 Kelvins acid dissolves the gold but the 14 Kelvins one doesn't, you know your item is probably around 14 Kelvins. For more interesting videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.